Jay here for Stratford Paddock. This is the paper talk. As you can see, I'm outside a very sunny Old Trafford. So make sure you get your barbecues out later on because it's absolutely gorgeous weather here in Manchester. Uh, lots of stories to get through, so I'll crack on. There's a story doing the rounds, it's just sort of doing the rounds lately. Mark Ogden, uh, ESPN, he's saying uh, a move for Harry Kane is a possibility for Manchester United if Pochettino, I'll get to more of him later, is appointed manager, but will cost at least £100 million um, and will command the same kind of wages as David De Gea, which is around 350 grand a week. He also talks about Declan Rice, and Declan Rice is another target for Manchester United, which we kind of know, we've been covering that story for the last few months. Um, but it's a bit of a fly in the ointment. He's saying with a valuation of around 80 million quid, other alternatives are being looked at. Now, listen, we know that Declan Rice is going to cross around 80 million quid, if not a little bit more. He's been a target for us for about two and a half, if not three seasons. We saw how well he's been playing this season. If we want him, we're going to have to pay 80 million. I can't believe Manchester United are looking at it thinking we can get him for much less than that. If we do get him for less than that, it's probably only going to be about 75, if that. So it sort of frustrates me a little bit that already the board are saying 80 million could be too much although I do get the idea you have to have alternatives you can't put all your eggs in one basket so Harry Kane and Declan Rice targets for Manchester United but on the Harry Kane front that's if Pochettino comes to Manchester United and it looks like he might be going to the Bernabeu. Maurizio Pochettino is moving closer to a move to Real Madrid in the summer. This is a story doing the rounds, I think it's emanated from the Daily Mail. Um, and the, one of the reasons they're saying that Maurizio Pochettino is likely to be given the Real Madrid job is because of his relationship with Kylian Mbappe. Now, I know that uh, Maurizio Pochettino has had a bit of a Tetchy relationship, shall we say, with Lionel Messi since Lionel Messi went to Paris. But it seems that he's getting on well with Kylian Mbappe. Now, Madrid are determined to bring Mbappe to the Bernabeu this summer. He is a free agent, but he's obviously going to cost a lot of money in wages. And it seems that he has a close relationship with Pochettino. And that may just make Madrid go for Pochettino in the summer because they're so determined to get Mbappe. He's such a good player and they quite like... Pochettino anyway, we can believe other reports, that it all sort of makes sense. I said this a few weeks ago that Pochettino strikes me as a bit of a player's player. I know I said he don't get on with Mbappe, uh, with uh, Messi, but I think that's a bit of a, a one-off. We, we spoke about, or I spoke about, sorry, um, Luke Shaw still having a, a good relationship with him. Other players seem to rate him very highly. He does feel like a, a player's manager. So, who knows, it looks like that could be a reason, or another reason, shall we say, that Los Blancos go for Pochettino, and if they do, I'd be quite happy with that because I want us to get Eric Ten Hag and it looks like the board here and the powers that be, John Murtagh and one or two others, are determined to try and go for Eric Ten Hag. So if Poch goes to Madrid, Ten Hag goes to Manchester United, it all makes sense, as the Lightning Seed said. Um, other, nor uh, other, Norris, other news story during the rounds this morning is United being linked with a kid from Villarreal. I say the kid, I think he's 25. Dan Juma, uh, Arnold Jan Dan Juma. He was at Bournemouth, one of you remember. Um, he's at Villarreal now, having a good season. I think he's got about eight goals in 15 games, is it? Something like that. Uh, he's a Dutch sort of winger who can play alongside almost any, along the front in almost any position. So, been linked with him. We've been linked with him a few times and this story's popped up again. We'll have to wait and see whether there is anything in that. We'll keep you posted, as we always do, whether Manchester United are looking at him, whether he could be an option for us, or whether it's just paper talk, as we say here. Um, and finally, a story about tomorrow's... Not tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow's game. I should know, I'm going to go there. Um, looks like Atletico Madrid could decide to play with five at the back, judging from how they've been training. And also, Luis Suarez could be about to miss out. Looks like Diego Simeone is going to shuffle it around a little bit, change it up. Atletico Madrid not having a great season, especially defensively. I think in the Liga they've conceded 34 goals in about 25 games or something like that, which for them, for a Diego Simeone team, is unheard of. But that's how it's gone so far. So it looks like he could be doing what we used to do when we were struggling to, to stop conceding goals, and that was put an extra defender in. Could be going five at the back at the expense of Luis Suarez, but it may just be a big ploy. We'll wait and see. We'll find out, obviously, tomorrow evening at about 7 o'clock. We'll be there. Well, we'll be there. I'll be there. We'll be here as well with the watch alongs. You'll have Joe, you'll have Macker and um, A N other of the watch alongs. So make sure you check that out. We'll also have all the preview. I think the preview goes up later today. And we'll have a post match reaction as well from the likes of myself, McCola, Joe, Stephen Alson, and all that good stuff. Make sure you are checking out the merchandise on the channel and the members section. We've got some extra videos on there. And if you're not doing, give us a subscribe. Let's get to 700,000 subscri subscribers by the end of the season with your help. 
we can do it. This has been Jay outside a very sunny Old Trafford. Thanks for watching.